An emergency meeting was held tonight at Strother Public Schools after police say the school maintenance worker, Douglas Switch, murdered his wife at their home, which is on school grounds. But his prior criminal history has parents asking why he was hired in the first place. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale was at tonight's meeting and she joins us live from Strother. Natalie. Well, that's right. After about two and a half hours of a discussion behind closed doors, the school board announced Douglas Switch's official termination. Control. Y'all need to get her under control. This board, they need to resign. We support our superintendent, and I don't think that he did anything wrong. Mixed emotions running high at Strother Public Schools packed emergency board meeting Wednesday night. Johnson needs to go. I don't feel safe being around who we were around. This school is as safe as it's ever been. It was called after police say 46 year old maintenance worker Douglas Switch shot and killed his wife Kim Switch inside their home on school grounds late Sunday night. Once. In the head. After about two and a half hours of talking behind closed doors, the board announced Switch will no longer be working at the school. Travis. Yes. TJ. Yes. Some are still upset and saying the school board shouldn't have hired Switch in the first place because of his criminal history. Between the late 90s and early 2000s, Switch pleaded guilty to aggravated assault and battery in several DUIs. When they gave somebody the keys like that and, and let them around all the children and then let him have a gun on the premises, it's it's unsettling. But others are standing by Superintendent Colby Johnson and the rest of the school board's hiring decision. And his record goes back close to 20 years ago. Don't judge me for what I did 20 years ago and the man I am today. The board announced Johnson will not be making public comments because he is considered a material witness in the criminal investigation and reminded everyone to keep the victims of this tragedy in mind. We have a family that is hurting at this time. In a statement, the district added that safety is their top priority. Live in Strother, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4.